Hey everyone, it's Ismay. Welcome back to Twin Mirror. We're going to be starting part four today, and I believe we're going to be exploring the upstairs of the house. Let's go ahead, let's jump in and get going. Huh, that was easy. I feel like the last time we played, I was struggling to come up here. Maybe it's just like unlocked now? Who knows? It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? The bed is like stripped. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. We might as well mind palace it, right? I like how even his clothes change when he's here. Come on, right. Give me them spicy memories. Come on, work, you piece of junk. I know you're awake. Me? No, I'm not. <laughs> then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Now, have you tried do poking you want it? A back rub while you work. As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. And after the article, I assume. All right, let's keep looking. We don't need to think about that too much. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. That's cute. I wonder if she's, like, outgrowing it now, though. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <laughs> Sounds like me. Okay. Joan's things are fully searched. That's sketchy. Nicholas moved in. Whoa. Wait, yeah, Except look at it, please. Week wasn't bad enough already. Can we just clean I should erase it? it? Yeah, okay. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's true. We'll just tell her not to go up there. Why is it so dark in here? And the stuff is still there. That's good. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once. It never was. I mean, look. Just because you guys didn't get married doesn't mean it's not your room. I... If you have a house and you share a bed, it's yours. Like, regardless of your marital status, I'm just saying. Let me inspect it. <laughs> Thank you. Transfer. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? That's not good. Super sketchy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <gasps> ah! I should have looked more. I just saw a brick. I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. 
The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Um... Find the backup. We need Nick's backups. If he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here in the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I... I don't... Actually... Over the last few months... Remember I mentioned... Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. He said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Oh, man. They're gonna go look at the bathroom. She's like, oh, I didn't see that writing. The cop's gonna be like, weren't you just in there? Nick's oh, fishing cute. shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find fish. anything. Nick, what were you up to? I don't know why, but like seeing the shack gave me real strong... Uh... Okay, I definitely had to go look. Uh, it gave me really big tell me why vibes, which makes sense because, you know... Don't nod, but like this is in Alaska and this little shack just it screamed tell me why to me. Anyways. Kinda seems like someone was already here too though. If Bug? It's cracked like that. Oh. Muley? How did you Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Uh, Bug, that's... this is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't you leave like this. I have to, though. Not like... without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. But, like, I'm an Maybe adult. Try to bring up her mother again. Uh, is everything okay? Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. Well, <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Hmm. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. Aren't you, though? Like, there's nothing for me here. Uh, don't make the same mistakes that I made. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad, I could rely on. But he's gone. 
There's nothing else for me around here. What about Anna? I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Hey, I do, and I'm working on it. Um. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. And no. It's not like I expected any different. No, 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 no. I'm actually investigating. Gutless, patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Not here. Isn't she like 10? Like really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? Um. Let's do. Oh man, I don't know. Let's do journalist, you I guess. Consider journalism. You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? No. Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. That's not true. People just read online now. <laughs> truth in a world that doesn't care about it. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay, or make me into you, or my father. No, bug. You're just telling me what I want to hear. No. Or what you think I want to hear. Man, I'm failing this hard. I just want the hard. truth for once from someone. Tell her. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so I'm going and you can't stop me. I mean, I could physically stop you and drive you Sam, back to your mom. To but like... <laughs> I'm not gonna. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. Do we tell her that we that. killed Dennis? Like, like I feel like about next death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? I mean, do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. No, I'm not doing that. Cause that never ends well. I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm not gonna call her mom. Like, you were right, Bug. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. Stop it. She are. It's she already knew. She's the I one that put right. us on the case. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my. And, and I, I also need. To need yeah, I was home. gonna say. And I need you to be safe. I will. Uh, I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. You better be safe, kid. Don't make me regret this. I don't know if that was a good idea. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> me neither. I'm, like I, I'm already low key regretting it. Stop it. Leave me alone. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. Okay. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Uh, we got some friends. We got some scenery. Oh, that's cute. Uh, we got some drawing. Joan always liked bugs. Nothing there. Not something Nick would have had. Well, you know what? People change. As everything Nick wanted to keep away. Okay. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Ow, like, it's right there. Let me search it. <laughs> no keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Okay, well, you're complaining about every place. I'm just saying. Bug Maybe never it's was outside, the social though. type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. I mean, the thing is, you are back now, so theoretically. I'm not saying, like, replace the dad, but you could still be, like, a strong presence in her life. 
uncles, you know, they, they have what a, fishy a special spot, place in the family. Always did love your cliches. Uh, like many people, Nick kept a few guns. I don't think we need the. I mean, we might need the gun. We did just up. get hit in the face with a brick. Okay. College Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Drugs. <laughs> These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. All right, well, I mean, at least we know that she wasn't just like exaggerating. So maybe telling her the truth was definitely the right option. D wants to meet. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. The question is, is it a meeting for murder or a booty call? His wife is gone a little crazy, I'm just saying. Okay, remember. Caterpillar. What? Just remember Caterpillar is green? Okay. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Um... I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh wait, journal article. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed money, and I felt so bad that I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only one I knew for sure that there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whooped my ass. Beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Lynette Brand, 52, with graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the only one that owns the land and sets the rules. She's judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. This place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work and some of them had no place to go. Drugs and crimes made them fall into the patterns desperate people enough fall in into and Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. She let them stay as long as they followed two rules. No stealing and no fighting. Though she's had to kick a lot of people over the years. Huh? Kick a lot of, yeah, just, oh, kick a lot of people out over the years. Not always permanent. In fact, she just let one of them back in. He does not want to be named, but he has a lot in common with Tyler. A bad relationship with his family, a mother with her own drug abuse issues, and a history of violent offensive. This young man explained to me why he came back can't make it out there. Everyone's hassling me and I'm just trying not to hassle myself. He has trouble staying still and looks ready to keel over at any moment, yet he's also got depth to him that's striking. Was sober for half a year once. Can't remember the first time I drank. Broke into Ma's liquor cabinet when I was five. Some people see this place and imagine the same old story of hillbillies in the mountains, yet this isn't what this place is. This is a community. They're all drifters lost in the flow of life with nowhere else to go and a desire to be better. Lynette shakes her head as he finishes up. She'll let me stay, he says. As I ask him how he knows. She'd have come over and told me to get out right then, he answers. It's true. Lynette lets him stay as long as he promises to try again. She has a lot of patience. You have to, she tells me after the young man goes to lie down. Everyone has their own way of dealing with pain. The path to mistakes comes in lots of forms, some of them pretty invisible unless you look for it. We all stumble sometimes. Most people take a few tries to get back up after being knocked down. If someone isn't there to help them, they just fall over. The cove gives me hope. All right. I think I went through everything. I wonder here. if that was about D or about Nick.
What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, let's just look at him, I guess. Journal article. Take. Oh, wait. Am I just, like, re-examining these? Hang on. Uh, if Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. I was so waiting for someone to come around and just smack me with another brick. Alright, anything out here? Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. <laughs> but there's gotta be more out here, though. Oh, there's a box. I like this mine palace. It's pretty. Give me the you know, fishing buddy memories. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. <laughs> you know, wow, I'm better Ruth. at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Is it just to hang out? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Okay, let's do... Ah. Alright, yeah. Uh, let me just walk up the road a little bit. I'm looking... That'd be like a... Is that a caterpillar guy? No, that's just a white spot. There's gotta be something, right? We have been, like, the, the whole... Oh, no. Okay. We just turn around. Alright. Fresh eyes. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, that is Nick's a note mentioned a caterpillar. Yeah, I think yeah. I just okay. found it. So, so now what? We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? There used to be a calendar Ooh. right here. Why'd he take it down? Okay. So. Can I not like actually? Come on, let me let me look at it. Ah! Back when Nick there and we Kathy go. were college <laughs> sweethearts, <laughs> clearly Bug was there too. Okay, so if we let me see. Wait, so the caterpillar has colors on it? Do I? Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Yeah, so... The caterpillar does have, like, the drawing. So, like, hang on. I'll take this.
So. Oof. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. Green down. Blue left, red right. I don't know if that that matter matters, but like, okay. I guess. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Oh, wait, okay. So now can I get into the bag? Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? And we already did the caterpillar thing, so I have that written down. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so it's right down, left, right, up. All right, let's nice. see what we have here. Oh, That's dang. a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. We already looked at... Oh, this is new. Let's open that. Nick was gathering at the cove. And that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Okay, so we know it's a D. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Okay, fine. Richard, Tyler, and Justin. Okay. Let's start reading. Read. Uh, twitchy even when sober, high strung, and obviously disliked by the cove. Ask not to be named in Anna's article because of his father who's running a shipping company. Smarter than he looks or as dumb as he acts. Hard to say. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who his supplier is. Oh, wait, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. It's a nickname. Okay, so that is a D. Let's make sure that these aren't Ds, though, too. And he gets his drugs from Anna. Okay. I mean, not Anna. <laughs> from Dickie, my bad. Loves camo. JR is his nickname. Okay, so yeah. Let's go with Richard, nickname Dickie. Let me choose you. Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. Nice. We did it. So that's what it, it was. took forever, but we did it. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant. Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer. And he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, the Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Uh, Bess finally left. Did you find the spot? Yes. Do you know where the Cove is? It's a little commune thing on the outskirts of town. Not big on outsiders. Alright, let's go. Need you to take me there. Let's go. He takes kind of slow. <laughs> we did it, guys. We're making progress. Best barely asked about the break in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are the you two doing? 
The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Um, I'm gonna listen to Anna. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it. She lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. Oh, great. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? Um... Yeah, do whatever it takes. I don't have any great ideas, but I know I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> at least we're equally clueless. There's comfort in that. <laughs> we're yeah, we're clueless together. I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful yeah, about yeah, the Yeah, I will. I'll be careful. What's enough? Not you. <laughs> uh, Awkward. Enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Um, yeah, they won't get away with it, it's don't worry. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back roads with... N That's not fair. I, I like, I like listening. Sam! Oh. I'm sorry. I like I listening to I him just, a little bit to, like, way. get his idea. Don't. But, like, don't take I keep wanting to me. listen to her, and I think I'm doing so it too late. So you're just late. gonna keep telling me off? <sighs> Disregard my advice? Yes. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Okay, good. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Poor Anna having to deal with us. <laughs> or Anna. I don't know. Um, not really. Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, 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 no. I promise, bug. No, let's, let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna. Duh. What are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? Um. Do I just enter? Yeah, I'm just. I'm just gonna I'm be Sam. polite. Was I talking to you? Oh shit. Okay. This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him, or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? Um. I'm not just let Anna it's do the so talking. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dicky. Have you seen him? <sighs> what would he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Okay. Oh, I like this statue. I'm gonna look Looks at like it. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? 
Uh, because why not a bear? Unknown woman. Can I introduce myself? Oh, watch it, Jesus! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Come on, Sam. I wasn't oh. trying to be a dick. I was just trying to introduce myself. I'm Kayla. What do you want? I just wanted to say hi. Um. You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You have to be an idiot not to. You're creating something. Did you make the bear? Because it's pretty tight. Turning it into something else. That's as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. I mean, he can you, still be here you right actually now. seem like a pretty cool person, I and I love your Dickie tent. <laughs> like, like, sure, living... I'm, I'm, Yeah, okay, having a house would be better, but like, this is really cute. I like it. And who knows? Maybe she's the kind of person that likes living outdoors. Possible. What is that? Possible hideout. Okay. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Okay. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, he's sad. Or coughing? I don't know. Let's talk to him. <laughs> What's up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait. You're that oh, fucking reporter! Ah, uh, shoot. I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! Um... I'm just, I'm gonna try to be like as calm just as I can. Here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. You know, look. That could have gone a lot worse, is all I'm saying. I think there's someone over here we could introduce ourselves to. Oh, Tyler. Yeah, okay. Tyler, right? Because he got his right? stuff from Dickie. Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Um, tell me how you know Anna. How did you Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Wow, okay. Maybe you could have been. The type she normally hangs yeah, out like, we could have been nicer that? about it. Trust me, I have. Uh, why'd you end up here? How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Oof. Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview. Told my story, did good by me. By us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. All right, well, you told me where he is, so thanks for that. Uh, Samuel, this is Bess. I'm trying to reach you regarding Dennis Gardner. Witnesses say you had a fight last night and you were looking for him all morning. We need to ask you a few questions. Come down to the station as soon as you can. Is it perchance because you found Cops the team. body? Cops will start looking for me soon. Okay, well, I... So Dicky is in one of the trailers. Oh. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need I a bit more info to close in on Dicky. Oh, I see. There are two trailers. Okay, well. Let's see. Can we talk down? 
Anna, talk to Lynette. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Um... I don't... Like, I don't want to, like, pretend to be interested in, like, oh, Anna's article, but, like, I also don't want to be like, do you know where Dickie is? <laughs> so, like, I guess we'll start Tyler with Nick. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? Um, did he ask about opioids? What about opioids? Did he say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I read the I'm article. Just, I like, I'm just going to keep being light, I think, for now. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Um, why'd you create what this What led you place? to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? Uh, yeah, I did. Thank you. It'll do. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. Okay, so like, I think it's probably this one then, right? It's the only one like kind of away, because I feel like the other two, because that one's right beside that one and that one's up there on the hill with everyone. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. Uh, wait. He's here somewhere. Okay. Do I just need to like, Maybe look at it then. Dickie's unlikely to be here. No quad parked Wait. out front, and no one seems. Oh, to be right, right, right. Okay. So maybe it is this one way back here. Does that have a quad? I don't know. No quad, and it's right next to another mobile home. Quad. Wait. Isolated. It, the, how someone is that here. isolated? It's That's like right hiding. here. Time to pay him a visit. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, I don't understand the meaning of isolated. I only know you by reputation, and what I know, I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey, man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. At the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. The cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Okay. So, hopefully we don't screw over Kayla by burning up her stuff and her tent. Because I really don't want to do that. 
But either way, we are going to go ahead and stop this one here and we will make our distraction in the next video. So until then, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know I don't talk a lot in these ones, but the characters kind of do it for me. <laughs> um, I, I try not to talk over them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see y'all soon for more. Thank you.